So gender is a construct, which means trans women are women. The end. Trans men are men. The end. The terms man and woman, <laughs> as it relates to gender and what it means, are a societal construct. But biology is not a construct. In fact, to provide trans-affirming care, we have to acknowledge that biology does not determine gender, but it does determine what is needed to express the gender that you are. So the thing is, is that hormones, they're not a construct. They're not. They have functions uh, within our body that impact behavior and the way in which we interact with the world. And testosterone has a link to dominance. And if you'd like to look at the research on that, hop on Google Scholar and get after it. But it's there. And what do I mean by do dominance? I mean that testosterone has a link to an increase in dominant behavior, in understanding power looks like dominance. Yes, darling. And I don't have the terms to describe, like AMAB and AFAB, sure, yes. The body you were born into, the biology that you were born into, does that mean it's you? No. But the pickle with this is, it's even saying AMAB and AFAB <laughs> doesn't take into account intersex. There isn't just, when it comes to biology or hormones or people, a binary. There isn't. You know what I mean? There isn't. Not a thing. So how do I say biology counts and your experience, and you, your reality is your reality. You know what I mean? How do I say that? You got an answer? I am here for it. Right? You take this fork.